So the reason for this meeting today was for an opportunity for us to talk with Speaker Terzai, explain a little bit of our project with him, explain the background and some of the funding that we received, and also discuss with him our goals moving forward and how we can partner with his office and also other legislators in the state of Pennsylvania to bring broadband to rural Pennsylvania. We have uh, over 16,000 members and many of them don't have access to high-speed internet. Um, we have some communities that have very good access, uh, but we have others that have very little or none. And so it was important for us to listen to the call of our membership to bring that to rural Pennsylvania and to bring that to our membership. And so that's really been the predominant goal with this project. And so today we've got some really good, solid, intelligent people that are going to talk to you about our program at a pretty high level and so that you can get an idea of how we're going to run fiber optics through about almost a 5,000 square mile area in north central Pennsylvania. This is an overview of our territory. Now the numbers are the districts um, that we have in the cooperative. Over 16,000 members, um, 19,000 accounts on the electric side. So the overall project, it's approximately 2,800 miles of build. It's approximately a $77 million project. In, in, in Wellsboro and in Manfield, do, do you have um, internet connections here? We do. We do. And who, who, who does that right now? A Blue Ridge. Blue, Blue Ridge. The Blue Ridge Frontier, and there's some wireless options. Because there is pockets of decent broadband in these small towns. So if you have a town with a population of 2,500 or more, you're probably going to get some pretty decent broadband options. So from a quality of life standpoint, um, giving seniors the opportunity, senior citizens the opportunity to stay at home longer instead of having to move into possibly a full-time care facility um, or have increased health care costs, they can actually remain independent in their home. Uh, they can actually have their doctor's appointments online and not even have to drive into town to the doctor's office to go to the doctor. And it also attracts young families, so um, individuals with youth, with young kids in the home uh, that need connectivity to, to be able to do their homework at night uh, and also just to enhance their quality of life in general. And then also economic development, so business development, not just businesses in our core communities, but also home-based businesses. We saw this as an opportunity for them to have better connectivity at home so they can grow their business. The first phase was approximately a $3 million project, um, approximately 110 miles. The representative has been critical to the success of this project. You know, he he grew up here, he lives locally, and he's such a partner uh, with the community and with us. So not only is he a partner in Harrisburg, but when he's home, he's encouraging our project and always wanting to know how he can assist it. And so legislatively in Harrisburg, he has been such a support 